Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going to cool things down a bit by installing all of this so my portable AC unit can work. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider liking and subscribing if you like my content. If you're a current subscriber, always good to have you back. So before we jump into installing this AC unit, let's talk about the giveaway I have going on this month. The link is below to check that out. Giveaway will be announced on June 30th, so be sure not to miss out. So why do I need an AC in the garage? I have plenty of fans. Well, you see, I can't film with the fans on and my garage doors get hit with the sunlight all day. So it gets to about 85 degrees in here, which as you can tell, I sweat a lot, so it's not good for filming. So I wanna install this so before I start filming, I can get the garage down to about 68 degrees and then turn it off and then turn on the cameras for you guys. Let's go over all the parts I'm gonna be using for this project. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find all of the same diameter pipes or the connections I needed. I don't know if they don't exist or just because of the times we live in right now. So my current vent for my heater in my garage is a three inch pipe. I could only find this connection in a four inch. The AC connection is a six inch, so a lot of step ups and step downs, if you will. One thing I did order is this cutoff here to make sure all that uh, off gas from the heater can be shut off from coming into the garage in the winter. Also, let's talk about the AC unit. I bought this portable AC unit as a backup for my house in case my furnace just went down. I didn't intend to have an AC in the garage, so I'm sure there are better options, but I'll put a link below um, of the AC that I'm using and let you know how it goes. It's also an AC slash heater uh, because again, it was a backup in case one of my ACs slash furnaces went down in my house. Let's jump into installing this. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is with the pipe in place right there, I'm gonna take my connection, figure out how it will fit along that line, mark that pipe, uh, and then remove it so I can put this connection in the middle there. So let's jump into that. Well, the pipe's removed. Uh, good thing I used this heater all winter because there was a hornet's nest in there, which just fell out, luckily. I think I, I dodged the bullet there. So let's see what I got here. So I'm already sweating, so I'm gonna be super happy when this is installed. So here's the pipe, it goes in this way. I marked where this connection can go. I marked it right at the end here. Um, and then I have these step ups or step downs, whatever you wanna call them. Right now, I'm gonna figure out how to cut this all up and get working on it. Let me show you what I got. I have this piece that's going to connect to the existing uh, pipe straight from the furnace. Then this piece will connect straight to here and out to the house. So that's what it'll look like. Then this piece has a shutoff, um, which will connect down here going to the AC. So in the summer, ugh, give me, that'll be connected. I'll open this, all the hot air will go out this way. Uh, in the winter, I'll just shut this, close it, and hopefully all the hot air from the furnace and the bad stuff will go outside. Uh, but we'll find out later. Right now, I need cooling. So let's install this baby, plug it all up, and see how it works. All right, well, guys, uh, woo, it's cooking in here. My about 85. I don't know how you guys live in the, the south. I see Travarish. He's always a sweaty mess when he's working in Florida. I would move all the way up to Canada, bro. All right, that's all hooked up. I promise you that hose is gonna be too short uh, and I'll have to order another one. But let's check it out. 
And yes, sir, guys, the hose is too short. So I'm going to run to the hardware store and pick it up. So I'll be back in two seconds. Hey, look, I have AC in my garage. Well, I must say, I'm super glad to have AC in the garage now. Uh, it's going to be about 90 or 95 in Chicago on uh, Thursday or Friday, so hooked it up just in time. But check this out. It's coming out of there at 57 degrees, perfect temp. I never knew how hot that got, 126 degrees. And it's all hooked up, nice. Well, there you have it, guys. I now have AC in the garage, and oh my God, I can feel the difference already. So thanks a lot for tuning in. If you want to know any of the products I use to make this installation possible, they all in the description below. So be sure to check them out. I will be doing a review on this unit once I've been using it for a while. But until next time, be sure to give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you then. Thanks a lot.